In this video, you will get a closer look at the Chevrolet Bel Air 2nd generation. An overview, its origin, price range and more, so stay tuned. What's going on? This is the Classics Dude again. The Chevrolet Bel Air 2nd generation is a series of full-sized automobiles that evolved from the first generation Chevrolet Bel Air, which was in production between 1950 and 1954. They are a series of automobiles from Chevrolet's lower model range, and as we progress through this video, I will explain why the second generation Bel Air is such a great car. It was designed from the years 1955 to 1957 by Bill Mitchell, who was working under Chevrolet at the time. The Bel Air series was definitely one of the best cars for people of class. During General Motors' advertising campaign, it earned for itself the name Hot One. The second generation Chevrolet Bel Air was designed in Flint, Michigan, the location of the company's main factory. The 1955 Bel Air was designed to be the successor to the first generation Bel Air, which debuted in 1954. It had a different appearance than the earlier 1954 version of the Bel Air, but its frame and mechanicals were identical to those of the previous models. The 1955 Bel Air model received features such as a chrome headliner band for hardtops, a Ferrari-inspired grille, stainless window openings, and chrome fender spears. The Bel Air series got a V8 engine option for the first time in 1955, and the second generation engine options were 3.5 liter I6, 3.9 liter I6, 4.3 liter V8, and 4.6 liter V8. In addition to the three-speed synchro mesh manual transmission with optional overdrive, it had a two-speed power glide automatic transmission. The base V8 engine produced 162 horsepower, 121 kilowatts, while the power pack option produced 180 bhp, 134 kilowatts, and the super power pack had high compression and increased power by 15 bhp, 11 kilowatts. Popular mechanics lauded the 1955 second generation Bel Air's magnificent acceleration due to the V8 engine, as well as the good visibility and comfort it provided to passengers. It also received the highest marks for handling, according to Motor Trend magazine. The transmission options for the 1955 and 1956 Bel Air models were the three speed manual transmission, overdrive, or power glide, and these models came with air conditioners. The Bel Air received a facelift in 1956, as well as a full-width grille that replaced the Ferrari-inspired front grille from the 1955 model. The 1957 model received a new Super Turbo Fire V8 engine, with more power and speed than previous models. With every specification listed above, I'm sure you're familiar with the second-generation Chevrolet Bel Air. The high quality features of these cars are what made them desirable and earned them praise from notable press. The 1955 Bel Air had only one body style, a two-door hardtop, and the total number of units that were built were 128,000. The 1956 to 1957 Bel Air had various body styles, including a four-door hardtop, a four-door sedan, a two-door convertible, a two-door station wagon, and a four-door station wagon. The total number of 1956 Bel Airs produced exceeded 103,000. The company also produced 7,886 two-door Nomad station wagons. We've already established that these classic cars were designed specifically for people of class. The features of the car made them expensive, but even within the model range, some were more expensive than others. The two-door Nomad Wagon, for example, was the most expensive of all the models at the time, costing $2,608. As of 2020, the two-door station wagon was worth $24,825 US dollars. On the other hand, the least expensive of the second-generation Bel Airs was the two-door sedan, which was sold for $2,025 back then a cost that rose to $19,276 as of 2020. 
That's all for today, guys. I'm sure you love this video, so hit that like button. Stay tuned for more classic car videos.